Swedish names are descendants of Old Norse, which later descended into Old West Norse and Old East Norse, which later split into Swedish and Danish today. Swedish and Danish have near 85% mutual intelligibility, though that number will depend, meaning that one speaker of the other language can understand the majority of what's said or written. Let's look at some examples of vocabulary and see how different or similar they are. The word for morning. Morgon. Morn. The word for ship. Fartyg. Skip. Swedish has a cognate of the Danish word. Skip. The word for language. Språk. Språk. The word for crime. Brottslighet. Förbrudelse. The word for wish. Önskan. Önske. The word for question. Fråga. Spörsmål. And the word for mousetrap. Musfälla. Musefil. Pronunciation and orthography. Swedish vowels have two different pronunciations, short and long. Short vowels come before long or double consonants, and long vowels come before short consonants. Swedish vowels also don't appear in diphthongs, but some southern dialects retain them, like the Scanian dialects. In Danish, most vowels are either short or long, and some vowels have other sounds depending on the context, mainly A and E. There are also many diphthongs that Swedish doesn't retain. These diphthongs are spelled with either V or G. The consonants are pronounced as approximants, which allows them to sound as a vowel alongside the first consonant. For example, EV represents EO or EO. In terms of consonants, Swedish contains the consonant H, which is spelled SKJ, STJ, or SJ, or SK before these five vowels. There's also the sound SH, which is spelled KJ or TJ and K before these five vowels. In Danish, this comes after S or T, but is an allophone of the sound Y, an allophone being a variation of the sound. There are also retroflex consonants, spelled with R before the letter. And speaking of R, it's normally pronounced as R, a voiced alveolar trill, but this also depends on the dialect. It can be a voiced uvular trill, an alveolar tap, or uvular fricatives, voiced or unvoiced. In Danish, the R sound is mainly a voiced uvular fricative, R, or pronounced as a vowel after a consonant. Swedish also contains something called pitch accent. This means that words have a different pitch to indicate a difference in meaning. There are two pitches in Swedish. Pitch 1 is a rising pitch, and pitch 2 is a falling, rising, falling pitch. Danish, however, contains stress accent. Rather than differentiating words based on pitch, words are differentiated by the different stress in the word. Either a word can have stress on the first or final syllable of a word. Grammar. Let's take a simple sentence. This means Jake saw a tree. In Swedish, Jake saw a tree. And in Danish, Jake saw a tree. In both languages, they have two genders, common and neuter. In Swedish, the indefinite articles are N for common nouns and X for neuter nouns. In the plural, it's AR, ER, or OR, which depends for common gender nouns and either N for words ending in a vowel, or no ending for words ending consonants in the neuter. In the definite, it's either N or N for the common gender, and X or T in the neuter. For the definite plural, the suffix NA attaches to the indefinite plural for common nouns, and you add A or N for neuter nouns, depending on their noun class. In Danish, it's similar. For the indefinite, there's N and X for the plural, there's either E, ER, or no ending, that depends on the noun class where plurals and definite singular, and there are also the definite singulars, N for common and X for neuter. The definite plural can either be INA or ANA. The word for tree in both languages is a neuter noun, so the neuter indefinite article is used. It. Also, the past tense of C is also similar. So. So. Which brings us to verbs. For each verb tense, there's only one conjugation for each person. For example, to say he sees me in Swedish, han ser mig, and in Danish, han ser mig. And to say I see him, that's jag ser honom. Jag ser honom. In terms of pronouns, Swedish and Danish pronouns are quite similar to each other. For example, das, dens, dis, hon, hon, jag, jag. Most other pronouns are also similar to their equivalents as well. Now let's take a look at a few sentences to see what else we can find. This sentence means the dog has a shoe. In Swedish, 
Hunden har hennes sko. In Danish. Hon har hennes sko. Word for word, it's Dogda has her shoe. Remember that the definite article is a suffix in both languages. N is used because the noun for dog is common gender. The present tense of have is the same, except for the pronunciation. Har. Ha. And a long N sound, N, is spelled differently. Double N in Swedish often corresponds to ND in Danish, where D isn't pronounced. Hennes. Hins. And one more sentence. This means we stayed at home because we got sick. In Swedish, vi stannade hemma därför att vi blev sjuka. In Danish, vi blev hem för att vi blev sjuka. Word for word, we stayed home because we became sick. Here we see the pronoun for we is used twice. Remember, verbs are conjugated for tense, not person or number, so the pronouns are needed in both sentences. The verb is different in both languages for stay, but are conjugated in the preterite tense or the simple past. The main verb in Swedish is stanna. In Danish, that's blue. While the words for because are different, the words for home are cognates. Hemma. Hjem. And so are the words for sick. Sjuka. Sy. And here, to say we got sick, it's used with the verb for become. As you can see, as much as these two are North Germanic languages, pronunciation-wise, they're the hardest reason that one speaker can't understand the other. Grammatically speaking, both languages are quite similar to each other. However, Danish has retained more influence from Bukmal, one or two varieties of Norwegian that's more similar to Old East Norse. If you want to learn these languages, for Danish, check out Danish Class 101. For Swedish, check out Swedish Pod 101. Check the description down below for both languages if you want to learn them. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name is Shade, and I'll see you all next time.